Hi everyone and welcome back to Waterhouse Hall. This is a short video today where we're going to just talk through the setting of the tappet clearances. Um, now this is a job which you might want to do uh, obviously when your engine is a bit more complete than ours but um, we're at the stage now where we're just busy putting all the different bits and pieces back onto this engine and it feels like a good time to run through and make sure that the tappets on this engine are properly set. Now <clears throat> the camera is obviously on that side I'm going to work this side. You should be able to see pretty much what I'm doing um, but what you won't be able to see is that at the back here I've got a screwdriver in the hole in the flywheel. Now if you don't know about that you can go back on some of my previous videos you'll, you'll, you'll see that or hopefully you'll learn that there are four holes in the flywheel um, and each one basically I believe designates a firing um, position for each of the pistons. Now the firing order is obviously one, three, four, two. So we we know that at the moment we're on number one, and number one is essentially rocking, which is kind of where we are there. The next one then would be number three. So what we're going to do is we're going to set number one and two, uh, five and six. Well, basically cylinder one, cylinder three, cylinder four, and then cylinder two. And when we bring the flower wheel back round again, we should be back on number one. So, let's run through it. The process is relatively simple. Um, what we've got is a, obviously a screw uh, grub nut, they call it, with a screw, with a screw, a grub screw with a slot on the top and then a lock nut at the bottom, which basically holds it in place. And what we're measuring is the, is the clearance between the top of the valve stem and the bottom of this tappet rocker um, and we the, the the settings are for the exhaust is 12,000th and for the inlet is 10,000th now that is I believe quite specific for this TBO engine now we're not probably going to be running this engine on TBO uh, we might do but uh, in most cases we'll be just running it on petrol but we're going to go with the specification, so 12 and 10 um, on the 12 on the exhaust, 10 on the inlet, um, and we'll see how that goes. We know that after a few hours of running, what we want to do is retorque the head bolts, and once we do that, we'll need to reset the tappets as well. So we'll see how it's running with the 10 and 12, and if we're not happy with that, we'll go to the 12 for both. I believe, I stand to be corrected, but I believe on the, certainly on the diesel engine, uh, you would go with 12 on both, and I believe the straight petrol, so the TE20, I believe that was 12 on both as well, but specifically on the TVO 10 and 12, so that's what we're going to go for. Alright, so I'll just get all my tools together, and uh, we'll get cracking, and we'll start with number one. Okay, I've got my tools here. So what I've got is a half inch spanner, ring spanner preferably, which goes onto this lock nut. I've got a nice flat screwdriver, which goes nicely into that slot. And I've got my uh, feeler gauge. I've got my uh, 12 thousandth feeler and my 10 thousandth feeler. So the first valve is an exhaust, so we know that that one needs to be 12. So, well look, that's pretty close, it's a little bit loose, so we'll leave the feeler gauge in there, we'll loosen the lock nut, and we'll tighten the grub screw. Okay, it's a little bit too tight for my liking, so we'll just loosen that slightly. there. There we go. That's a nice fit. Perfect. Right, so we'll do number, uh, we'll do the inlet now. Now the inlet is very loose. The 
it's easiest if you have the you leave the box banner on and um, because then when it comes time to tighten to nip it up you you're there you just need to um, now what I should have done is left that feeler gauge in there there we go so we just nip that perfect perfect I'm, I'm happy with that right so we'll just um, tighten those lock nuts Okay, and just double check and make sure that nothing's moved. Feels good. Feels good. Okay, let's move to number three now. Uh, now number three, now watch, you can watch the tappers, basically we're looking for when they're rocking. At the moment, this one is loose and this one is tight, so they're not quite there yet. Um, so I'm going to turn the engine and take my screwdriver out and we're watching for when that when those two start rocking see this one's coming up and Those are both rocking now, so we want to get our screwdriver back in at the nearest hole, which is there. There we go. Okay, so now we can set number three. Let's see where we are. So, um, just to remember. The exhaust valves go, so the outside ones are exhaust, sorry the valve, the, the sequence of the valves goes, the outside one is exhaust so that's an inlet, that therefore must be an inlet and this must be the exhaust, so they swap over each time, so exhaust inlet, inlet exhaust. So exhaust is 12 thou, oh well you know what that actually feels perfect, and the inlet should be 10. And that, well, guess what? That's pretty good too. All right, good. I'm going to leave that. That one feels absolutely fine. So we'll move on to number four now. Firing order is one, one, three, four, two. So now we're going to watch for number four to be rocking so we can see our exhaust is open uh, sorry it's closed and our inlet is open so we're going to watch for the inlet to come up it's coming up now and I think we must be nearly there Okay, that's rocking, so we'll set that one. That's um, exhaust, 12 is too tight, and the inlet is too loose. So we'll do the exhaust first, we'll get that, that feeler gauge won't go in there yet, so we'll just loosen this off. Okay, and now we'll just adjust it until it's nice and smooth, just about there. Let me just nip that up, check it, 
that's too loose. Could be a little bit tighter. That's too tight now. Sometimes you just have to play with them until you find. There we go. Perfect. Right, let's do number. Uh, let's do the inlet. Now that was too loose. Uh, so we'll. Oh, just bring that down slightly. Still too loose. Just about there. Too loose. Still too loose. What is going on with this one? Too tight. Just about there. There we go. Perfect. Alright, we'll just nip those up. Check them again. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so now we can move on to number two, which is back here. I'll just turn the camera a bit. There we go. So we can see the inlet is, is currently open and the exhaust is closed. So we'll turn the engine. Inlet is closing. Just about there, and get a screwdriver ready. Huh. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we just repeat the process. Uh, so we've got now exhaust, inlet, inlet, exhaust. So the inlet wants to be 10. Oh, that's so close, but just a little bit too tight. Check it. Oh, now it's too loose. Out there. Oh, moved. Too loose. I think it's there. Perfect. Okay. Check the exhaust. Well, look, that's not bad. It's a little bit loose. Let's just tighten it up a bit. Just about there. Okay. Perfect. Let me just tighten this one up.
lovely. And that's it. That is how you set your tappets. Uh, certainly on this engine anyway. The great thing is that you've got these four holes in the flower wheel. That really helps you to, to work out exactly where the TDC is. Um, so if we just bring it back around now to number one. We'll just, I just prefer to always know that number one's at top dead center whilst we're working on it. So I like to leave it in that state. There we go. Okay. So number one is rocking. Number four is just about to rock. Okay. So that's it. That's uh, setting the tappets on the Ferguson tractor or the Ferguson TVO engine anyway. As I said, um, I believe the engine and the diesel, oh sorry the engine, the petrol and the diesel engines, they both, uh, the inlet and exhaust are the same setting. I, I stand to be corrected but that's my understanding. But definitely on the TVO, checked, I looked it up on the manual and uh, you want 12 on the exhaust and 10 on the inlet and that's when the engine is cold which obviously this one is seeing as it hasn't run for many many years but um, <laughs> okay we're going to leave it there listen thanks very much for watching um, obviously we hope that this was informative and helpful and uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next video so cheers for now